Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. Now, the content that I'm going to bring you tonight is all about the National Reciprocity Bill that was just introduced in Congress yesterday. There are so many different pieces of this, but this is incredibly important as there are 118 co-sponsors on the Republican side. Keep that number in mind as we go forward. Everything is linked in the description box below, and I cannot wait to hear from you guys on this one. Now, if you are new or you're a returning viewer, please consider hitting that like button, making sure you subscribe and turn that notification bell on. We need as many people as we can to get in here, get in the fold, and help pass the blessing of the Second Amendment along to the next generation. Thank you so much in advance for your consideration. And now, I'm going to say a quick word from our sponsor, my company, Second Press. Now, I founded the Second Press as our way to fight back. I personally do not like complaining and then not doing anything about it. That's one of the things I cannot stand. So, the Second Press was born. We are creating original, shareable Pro 2A articles, narrating podcasts, founding multiple YouTube channels, and offering exclusive content with your favorite 2A creators on Substack. There's a link in the description box below, and please give it a link, give it a check, and jump over there. It is completely free, and thank you so much in advance for your support on this new project, because I think it's going to make a difference. But now, my brothers and sisters, we've got to dive into this, because this is something interesting. Again, keep in mind, that number, 118. Representative Hudson introduces national reciprocity of concealed carry. Now, I want to draw some distinctions here. This is not a, a federal concealed carry bill that applies to all 50 states. This is a reciprocity bill that honors different states that can have concealed carry permits and allows you to basically go from one to the other. That's It's just like a driver's license in that perspective, okay? Just so we can kind of lay the groundwork. But let's continue. I'm going to show you what it actually says because this is where the power is. H.R. 38 from the 118th Congress, again, this is yesterday, to amend Title 18, United States Code, to provide a means by which non-residents of a state whose residents may carry concealed firearms may also do so in the state. So if you have a concealed carry program in your state and you offer a concealed carry license, you have one in South Carolina, you have one in Georgia, and they are now friends. That's essentially honored in each one. It's national as long as you have a concealed carry permit. All right, so the important thing that I want to bring to your attention here is the 118 sponsors, <clears throat> excuse me, co-sponsors. I've mentioned it a couple times. Now, I'll tell you flat out, I'm never going to mislead you to the best of my ability. This is not going to get through the Senate. This is not going to get through the presidency. However, this is the important reason I'm covering it. 118 Republicans signed on when they didn't have to. It's not an election season. This is something they signed on to now, one day into the congressional term of the 118th Congress, and they put their names on the dotted line. Now, I'm going to show you why that's crucially important in a second. But this is the um, piece that's so crucial as we go down into the actual words from the sponsor. Hudson commented on the legislation saying, H.R. 38 guarantees the Second Amendment does not disappear when crossing an invisible state line. It protects law-abiding citizens' rights to conceal carry and travel freely between states without worrying about conflicting state codes or onerous civil suits. I am especially proud to have such widespread and bipartisan support for the measure as I continue working toward to get this legislation over the finish line. So this has the NRA support. This has the NSSF support. I imagine it has most people's support. The crucial part here is, A, it's bipartisan, so it's got all the buzzwords. This is going to honor from state to state. That's what the rep said. But I want to bring this to your attention. Look what else had similar amounts of co-sponsors. Again, they may not have the Senate or, their, or the presidency, the Republicans, but this is what happened when the Democrats had the same amount of co-sponsors. H.R. 1808, Assault Weapons Ban of 2022. You guys remember that one. Here's how many sponsors it had. 212. So about 94 more, roughly. Roughly 100. Originally, there's 194 sponsors. H.R. 8, Bipartisan Background Check Act of 2021. That had 210 current sponsors. Okay, Again, about the 90... Uh, Plus or minus, uh, plus 90. Enhanced Background Checks Act of 2021. This is H.R. 1446, both of which passed. Oh, actually, all three passed the House. H.R. 1446 had 165 co-sponsors. The reason that I bring this to you is because you've got people that are actually doing the work that you sent them there to do. Not all of them. They are not perfect. But national reciprocity has been introduced, and 118 Republicans put their name permanently on the co-sponsor list. That speaks to something that is worth something. It's right down there. If you want to check it out, you can see if your representative put their name on that co-sponsor list. And if they didn't, you can go ahead and send them a little note and say, hey, why not? 
And that's what I've got for you guys. It's a small something. It was a shorter video, but I wanted to make sure you guys knew there were people actually fighting for the right things in Congress. I'll see you later.